All right, y'all. We're going to start off with some of the looks first, okay? Is that all right with y'all? We start out with some looks first. Okay. So this has been my favorite. And that's Quinta Brunson and Mark Bauer. Shout out to Quinta Brunson. Okay. And the reason why, okay, I don't know why her head is cut off in this shot. Ugh, why is it doing that? Stop. Hmm. It's zooming in a way that I don't want it to zoom. Anyway, y'all see the dress. Quinta Brunson. Quinta Brunson is giving, giving, giving. Do you hear me, girl? Giving. Let me get out and come back in. Why is it cutting off her head? Let me see. Can I can I back out? Can I jump in and jump out and then re reintroduce myself? No, it's going to keep cutting the heads off. Okay. Girl, I don't know why it's cutting the heads off, but Quinta Brunson was my favorite. I really hope a style by High Heel Princess. Let me see. Is that the same person? Let's see. Is this the same person? Hold up. Okay, wait, no. Let me see if this is the same. Because y'all remember Quinta wasn't doing too good. And we had, you know, on the Ooh Ladies First panel, we had went and, and found her stylist and was like, can you please stop? Like, you're not doing it right. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing our girl any justice. Um, it was when she had the the the, the dress on and it was it looked wrinkled. It looked wrinkled. I don't I can't remember what which show that was it the Golden Globes? Was that the one it was? Where her dress was like wrinkly? I can't remember. Yes, 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 yes. It's the same one. Okay. So High Hill Princess is starting to get it right again. Um, because this this was the move. This was the move, and this was the way right here. Okay? Th this was the one. We're going to like that. We're going to like that. Because that's what it should have looked like. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Legs, shoes, dress. I hate that it's cutting off her hair, but yes, I love it. I love it so much. I like that she's being a little risque. It's a Vanity Fair party. I love that she's being risque because it annoys me when they dress her like she's a school marm. She's not really a school marm. She doesn't really teach down to the kid's school. Please dress her appropriately for a young woman of her size, stature, and age. By God. Um. Okay, so this is one of those things that when I don't look at it, it looks good. But when I actually look at it, I don't like it. I feel like it's too much going on. You got the bow. Like maybe if she would have got rid of that bow. I think if she would have got rid of that bow on her waistline, then this would have been the, the va va voom I feel like it's supposed to be. But adding the bows to it, I just kind of feel like added a, just a frilly that we didn't need. It's already frilly. We didn't need the bows too. I don't like the bows, y'all. I'm that's just how I'm feeling about it. Let's move on because we we can't be here all day. Okay. So here's the thing. I love the fact that Pam Anderson has decided to go makeupless because she did it so much in her her career that if she doesn't feel like doing this for y'all anymore, she doesn't have to. Here's the thing though. Pam, can you at least get your hair done? Pam, can you at least get your hair done? I also hate this dress. Um, it, it just, girl, I, it looked like it's supposed to be stained glass. It just looked like somebody draped you in stained glass. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I, I want you to not wear makeup and still look good. And this is you not wearing makeup and also not looking good. And I don't like that. Fix that shit. Um, who else do I want to bring out? Who else do I want to bring out? Kelly Rowland. Okay. Calendria. Calendria. I actually, again, love it, but don't. Like, she looks amazing. I love her hair. I love the way her breasts look. I like the bodice. Um, I like the arms. Again, hate the bows. I also don't like the way the dress is disconnecting in the front like that. I don't know. Like, and I know from the back, it probably is given like full, full ball, ballroom gown situation. I don't know. 
it's something, you know, the disjointedness isn't a fave of mine. And again, I do not like those bows, but she looks amazing. You know what I'm saying? She looks amazing. Whose dress is this? Kendall Jenner. Oh, girl. See, the girls were doing nude and I feel like nobody was giving the nude exactly right. I love this. I love this. I do. I really like this Kendall Jenner. I like the placement. Yes, Kendall Jenner. Yes. This is how the lace see-through look. This is how it should be done. I like this. This is how it should be done. Because this vibe is identical to none. This is how it should be done. Okay, come on, Demi. Demi Lovato looks good. Demi Lovato looked like she can't breathe, but she looked good, girl. That's how I would look. I would look like I couldn't breathe either. She looked good. Um, I feel like Kim, yeah, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing with Kim. Kim, Kim, like somebody else, Sierra. Sierra recently did a look like this, right? I don't, like, I know that that's the look, but mm -mm. I, Yeah, yes and no. It's just... Mm. It's giving somebody else did it. It's giving, you know, your body look good, but somebody else did it. Yeah, I don't, I guess. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not even going to front on y'all. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my God. Demi Moore, please, please, Demi Moore. Why are you doing this to us? Mm. Some people are skinny naturally. Well, guess what? Demi Moore wouldn't be that one. Demi Moore wouldn't be the, the person that's naturally this thin. I seen, I've seen Demi Moore in the fucking 90s. And it didn't look nothing like this. And that don't have nothing to do with her getting old. Because, girl, where is her, uh, her counterpart? The one that looked... Courtney Cox? Girl... <sighs> No, I, Ozimbic, I don't know what the fuck going on, but no, 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 Demi. Chloe, why does it keep doing that, y'all? This is driving me that it keeps cutting the head off. And I can't get it to act right. Like, why is this happening to me? Anyway, let me see if I refresh it. Will it stop? Being an asshole. There we go. Okay. <sighs> I love it. I love it. I'm not even gonna lie. I love it. <laughs> it's giving body, adi, 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 adi. And she got her locks. Thank God, no bad wigs. I love the extraness at the bottom of the dress. I love how it fits like a fucking glove. I love the pose. I love the face, Chloe. I like the bottom part. I think it makes her look like a fish. <laughs> like a, like it's coral or something. I just like it. It looks interesting. And it's shiny. So it's not like it looks, you know, you know, it don't look cheap. <laughs> You know, like, oh, what is that down there? Like, it look good. It look good. Okay, hold up. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have Chloe Haley. Miss Haley Bailey. Miss Holly Bailey. Holly Bailey. Yeah, I don't like hers. I saw hers, and I do not like hers. I don't. And I don't like it. Not because it's nude, but because the placement of the crotch part, it, it just, it's not right for her body. This is one of them times where they make a dress for a tall bitch and the girl is short. And so the measurements of the, like the way the lace is made needed to be changed because it kind of made, it, it just made her waistline and her, you know, it just look weird. It, it looks weird. I, I don't, I don't, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Especially close up, mm-mm. Mm -mm. That's not what we wanted. Mm -mm. That is not what we wanted at all for you. Okay, and we're pressing and we're pressing. Let me see if I can just open this in another folder, another thing, so I don't have to keep 
going back like this because I feel like we're about to go through a few of these, even though I don't really want to be here for that long. Okay. Who is that? Is that Victoria Monet? Put that on my mama, on my hood. She looks good. I don't know why her face always looks different. I like her dress though. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I do. I don't know what's going on with her nipples, but I like the dress. I think the dress, sorry. I think the dress is given. I like it. The piping of the dress is not flattering. You're talking about on Holly? Yeah. Because this is this looks good on her waist. It's weird, but I like it. It's weird, but I like it. Okay. And we're going to move. We're going to go. I forgot the, because I'm trying to like hurry up and get through these. <laughs> Cause I, you know, I keep seeing the ones that I really want to click on and I like, I gotta go cause I gotta go back to the bottom so I can see what I've missed. Okay. Um, here we go. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all I like it. <laughs> I hate her hair. Like I hate that she continues to wear this specific color of wig um, I wish she would have wore a dark color for, for once. I wish it was her real hair for once. Um, because she's always wearing wigs. It's almost like she's in character all the time. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I love this. I think she looks amazing. And I don't know why everybody's hating on her. I'm over this ghetto couture look. Why is this ghetto? Because it's her body. I think y'all only call sheer ghetto when it's not a skinny white girl in it. It's a thick white girl instead. I think she looks amazing. I think her body is impeccable. And I think she looks amazing. And I think everybody that's saying that they think it's so ugly, I think they're full of shit. I think they're hating. I like the bottom of the dress and the way it falls. Like, I love the way it fits on her. I love the lace applique at the top. But then once it gets to her actual body, it, you know, just goes to sheer with the netting on the sides, like, cre you know, even more so creating that hourglass shape. You know, I feel like everybody that says that it's bad, I low-key feel. I mean, you, you cannot like it. Please don't get me wrong. But the, the overwhelming amount of people in the comments talking about how she doesn't look good and calling her ghetto and un like, just no. Yeah, I feel like y'all are hating. She's going to the Source Awards. What the fuck are you talking about? This was literally a theme at the Vanity Fair party for them to be in lace. We've seen more than one lace look. So it's really annoying to me that when she does it as a black woman, even being extremely light, y'all will, oh, and it's because of her body type, y'all will ghetto -fy her. When she ain't doing shit different than Kylie Jenner. I like it. I think she looks good. Period. Can't stand all y'all hating ass hoes. Um, okay. Cardi ate. Cardi ate. She did. She did. I, I, I don't know how I feel about the hair. I mean, I think it's kind of basic, so it looks good. But it looks kind of wiggy. You know what I'm saying? I, I noticed that with Kelly Rowland on this one photo shoot she did where they they want to do like the roller wrap look with wigs. But the thing about it is you can almost see the differentiation from their scalp in the height of the wig. Like it just looks like, you know, your hair is in not all the way down under there. It looks like it's too many bundles. You know what I'm saying? Um, But I think she looks amazing. I love it. This is another like lace look. It's not completely lace, but y'all get it. This is the theme. I, I like her dress. Her dress is beautiful. And I think it looks good on her body. I think she looks pretty. Again, not knowing how I feel about the hair. Do think it could have been toned down. Like it, it could have been, it could have been toned down. You could have did your real hair for this one, Cardi. You could have came out there with your real hair, Belkalis. Okay, you ain't have to wig it. Cardi ate. Yeah, I don't know what anybody's talking about. Because y'all, you know, people just be loving, loving, girl. They love to hate on Cardi. <clears throat> okay, hold up. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's all. I love her, but mm-mm. 
I just don't like it. It's not bad, but it's just, mm -mm. you could have done better than that. Mm -mm. Cynthia, you another. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a few things for me. It's a few things. First of all, I, I think it's too busy. Um, also, I feel like, I don't know how I feel about how the, the it's, it's the way she's standing. That's what it is. It's the way she's standing, but I don't like that dress at all. And it's not that I don't like when women are bald. It's just that y'all could have powdered her forehead a little bit. This is better. Y'all. God damn nets. Spray more neem oil. This this photo is better, but I still really don't like this dress. I just don't. Cynthia ain't got no eyebrows. That that's what it is. The eyebrows are blonde, or there are no eyebrows. That's what it is. There are no eyebrows. Mm. Whoopi Goldberg did that back in the day. She didn't have any eyebrows either. I guess y'all think that's cute not to have no eyebrows. Girl, do what you want to do. It's your face. I don't care. But it looks weird to me. I need. I, I would like for y'all to have eyebrows. But if you don't want to have any eyebrows, or if you can't, do your thing. You ain't got to draw them on. Because if I see them drawn on too much, I, okay? Listen. All right. Yes. I like all of this. Yes, Lizzo. Yes, Lizzo. Yes, Lizzo. The only thing I don't like about it is I feel like it's too short. Like the actual dress, it's a little bit too short. I would have liked for them to have it like maybe a squinch longer. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm low-key scared that her coochie is going to make an appearance. And, you know, you know. Not not like this. You know what I'm saying? If it was like a bodice or something, if it was like, you know, like an underwear type shape, maybe. But see, this, I don't like this. I I because it look, you know, it looked like the dress is hiked up. I don't like that. I feel like the dress should have just been a slight, a slight, slight bit longer um in the front. Everything else, I love. I love the hair. I love this hair on her. Oh my God. I love this hair on her. Yeah, if this, yeah, the, the, this part right here, the the top part could have been just a little bit longer. And I would have, I would have liked it a little bit more. Um, okay. You think the bob should have been longer? I actually like that, that like right to her face. Like, I like that. I like that. But yeah, Lizzo look good. Lizzo trying to come back. Okay. Lizzo said, bitch, don't forget about me. Y'all ain't fitting to forget about me. Okay, let's see. Are there any other looks that I want to go and look at? Yes, there is. I love her. I really do. But I hate this dress. Y'all, I love Dominique Fishback. I do. I love her. She's amazing. I think she's an amazing talent. I, I've seen videos of her talking and just, you know, talking about herself and how she thinks. And I just, I find her very refreshing. I like her a lot. Um, But girl, when I tell you I do not like this dress on her, it's because I feel like they keep putting dresses that are made for tall people on short people. Not paying attention to the fact that if your torso is not long enough, these types of dresses make your body look weird or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's not the most flattering. It doesn't elongate. It cuts you off. So I don't, I don't like this look on her. This is another example, uh, like what they did with Holly, where they obviously did not size it for her height and they only really sized it for her body shape. Okay. Um, the lesbians in black girl, hold up, hold up. Listen, I'm here for the lesbians in black. I'm here for it. They look cute. Okay, Niecy Nash, Jessica Betts, they be doing it. They be looking real good 
this award season. Okay, let me light it. <laughs> Cause y'all look cute. Y'all look real cute. I love the sunglasses. Okay. I hope y'all stay together, girl. I do. Cause I really like y'all. Okay. I feel like we're about to end this section. Okay, wait. One, two. Okay, we have two more. Two, three. Oh, girl. Y'all, why y'all doing this to me? Okay, let's just quickly go through. <laughs> let's just quickly go through. Okay. So, first of all, yes. Except for hair, no earrings. Don't like that. Love the color. Love the fit. Okay. Didn't she just have a baby or is she still pregnant? Girl, I don't even know. I don't know what's going on with Sierra, but Sierra looked good. She looked real thick. And I'm here for it. Okay. She just had her baby, right? And hold up, we gotta go, we gotta go because we need to get the one of her from the back that y'all was talking shit about. Okay. Y'all look, they obviously like uh <laughs> they obviously did a little little Photoshop. On this picture to make her look slimmer. Okay. But the butt. So whatever her thong. For some reason the thong is creating a, a like indentation that I, did, that I didn't like. It just kind of made her butt look a little weird at certain angles. I think it's whatever underwear or how tight that might be on her butt. The way it is. Like it just. It was causing some. Some you know, fabric situation that I wasn't a fan of. But I do love her hair. I do love her hair from this angle. Hold up, let me go back. I think her ass looks amazing. Like, she looks juicy as hell. Like, come on, Sierra. And I'm just here for the fact that she's having all of these children and looking amazing and proud and happy with her body. Um, I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. And there were people commenting saying that this was inappropriate. And I'm like, are y'all new here? Like, are y'all new here? There's nothing inappropriate about this. The theme for Vanity Fair was nude, see-through, sheer. Are we missing something? I think she looks amazing. And she's literally covered damn near head to toe in fabric. But y'all are going to act like because you can see her butt in the dress that she's naked. Girl, listen. People hate all day. Sierra looked amazing. And I know who was there holding her hand. Her mother and husband. And all the reason I say that is because there's so many niggas that feel like she shouldn't be able to be like that, being a wife and a mother. Well, the only person that matters isn't bothered. So what's going on? Okay. So let's, let's, uh, hold up. We need to, my bad. I want to. I want to make sure I'm continuing to new tab it. Um, I didn't mean to do that. A new tab, not a new window, sweetheart. Jeez. Okay. Divine. Divine won Best Supporting Actress at the Oscars as a Black woman. Shout out to her. I think she looks great. I think she looks great. I do. I like this look on her. Um, yeah, I like it. I do often feel like sometimes when you're a big girl, they put you in dresses and it looks like you can't breathe, but it might just be because your titty's big. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she looks good. She looks good. I actually like this kind of blonde on her a little bit. Like I do wish they would have done something else with her hair because it's giving quad from Mary to medicine. <laughs> so I don't really know how I'm feeling about it, but the blonde is a good blonde for her skin tone. That's what I'll say. Like it's a, it's, it's a good, it's a good blonde girl. I'm feeling a blonde of it. Um, and then we got our girl Zenyel Brooks. Okay. Yes. Okay. Showing through. All right. Showing up. Yes. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. I know she another one that just had a baby. When I tell y'all these girls is showing the fuck out. They are showing out after having these babies. And I'm here for it. Okay. And then. Saweetie. 
Sweetie is another one that I feel like does way too much with her wigs. Like, it always looks so wiggy. It always looks so fake. Um, Her tits look extremely fake, too. But she looks really good. She looks good. Like, the dress. Um, I don't like the hair. I don't. I don't like the hair. I feel like everybody wants to look like a country white woman. And that's great. Everybody wants to give Marilyn Monroe tees. But it's the wiggy of it that bothers me so. But she looks really good. I think the dress looks amazing on her body. We're not even going to argue with you about it, girl. We're not even going to argue. Where is another one that was really good? Issa motherfucking Ray. Hold up. Issa motherfucking Ray. Okay, girl, yes. <laughs> Yes. 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 That's what we're going to say about it. Yes. Shout out to Issa Rae because she looks impeccable. The dress is beautiful. Decolletage is beautiful. Okay. Or her decollete and her decolletage. Girl, it's all good. Decollete, decolletage, it's all good. Um, The face. Ah. Girl, the face. The makeup. Like, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this on her. Like, ugh, sickening, sickening. Do you hear me? Sickening. I'm listen. I'm all here for Mother of the Bride, but I don't like this. I don't like this, y'all. I know. I know. Everybody wants to feel like you know Mother Tina knows can't do no wrong. That flower, like, it's, I just feel like grandma could have did better. I don't like this. I don't like this, y'all. I'm sorry. It's the flower that's really throwing it off for me. And I also feel like she has such a beautiful shape. I feel like this Loki doesn't do her as, as much justice for how fine we know Miss Tina knows is. You know what I'm saying? Is it just me? I don't really like it. I, it, it could just be me. I'm cool with it just being me, girl. Let me sit up because, girl, my posture is not giving what it's supposed to give right now because I didn't just got really settled into looking at these pictures. But anyway, y'all, I think we're going to end it there with the looks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about Tammy Rivera and we're going to talk about Monique Slaughter. And I'll come back. You know, with the rest later in the week, girl. So let's take a quick break and we'll be right back. So we're back. Let's go ahead and get into Monice first. Oh, girl, let me prepare myself. Hold up. Because <clears throat> y'all know Monice going to come up here. Monice going to come up here and she going to stress us out. She going to cry. She going to be slobbering and shit. We ain't going to know whether we should be believing anything she's saying or not. 
We don't know when she got a husband. We don't know who the fucking husband is. All we know is she online crying to us. Ain't told us nothing about what's going on in her life. And now she won't come and talk to us. So before we get into it. Okay. In the Lord's name. Okay. All right. Everybody that's calling me a liar about my pregnancy. <laughs> if you were there for me, I love you. I appreciate you. You saw the medical papers and the ultrasounds. If you were there for me on the day of my DNC, I, I'm grateful. But I am tired <laughs> to say that you can't believe that I was married to my husband because you think I lied about a pregnancy. <laughs> A pregnancy that I bled out three times for was. And here's the thing, Moniz. You can come and tell us all of this, but you couldn't tell us before. And now you online talking about we couldn't believe you. Hospitalized for. <laughs> fought tooth and nail to keep. <laughs> I had my tubes tied on the table the day of my DNC. I'll never experience motherhood again the natural way, and that's fine. But I had to do what I had to do. I had a heart condition. Okay. And I chose for everybody that's calling me the best route for me, which was I chose to terminate at 29 weeks, almost full term. So if anybody wants to know, let's just put it to rest. Let's just put it to bed. Let's just move on. <laughs> Y'all could believe my mother. Y'all could believe whoever you want. But the people that were there were there. They saw my stomach. They saw my daughter kicking. They saw my stomach moving. I was in the dentist for prenatal gingivitis. My teeth were cracking. That is a crown. Child, <clears throat> look like that baby was trying to take all the life out of you, sis. Child, y'all let me know. Do y'all believe her? I wanted to believe her mom, but as beautiful and smart as she is, she is lying and the truth ain't in her. Yeah. Not child, not Tila Tequila. That's a crown. This is a crown. That's why this one is yellow. This one is not. I was cracking teeth. You want to know what happened to my show? I wasn't willing to film losing my child. You know, I didn't have a stillborn. I didn't miscarry. I didn't have, I chose. I made a decision. The best route for me, which was I chose. And for my ex-husband, the man that described me as the woman of his dreams. Does anybody know who the nigga is? Introduced me to his children, <clears throat> spent time around my son, answered my phone when I was down after my surgery, was in a group chat with me and my family to denounce our marriage, and marriage is something I hold sacred. So he said y'all wasn't ever we married. Joke, we so he said y'all wasn't ever married, or because that's what the down, denouncing mean, right? Saying that it didn't happen. You had no proof, Moniz. You can play, but I am in pain. No, no, no. You, yeah, I'm, I'm looking. You? Okay. Hey, y'all. How you doing? So I'm in the middle of the wig. We're getting the wigs done, and um, thank you I'm for lucky. thank you for joining. Um, we were rehearsing for a movie. Moniz, no, we're not Moniz is rehearsing. Like Moniz is rehearsing. For a movie, and this was her. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Okay. Hey, y'all. How you doing? I'm in the middle of the wig. We're getting the wigs done, and um, thank you for thank you for joining. Um, we were rehearsing for a movie. Moniz, has, Moniz is rehearsing. Moniz is rehearsing for a movie, and this was her big one. This was her big one. End the scene. Bravo! Bravo! Amazing, amazing acting skills. Okay, so at first I was thinking Masika was coming and saving her friend. But now I'm feeling like, are you really her friend? Are you really her friend? Because you basically just made it seem like everything she said was a lie. Saying that she was performing a scene 
when the argument is that nobody believes her? I don't know if Monice is lying or Masika isn't a good friend. I don't know which one it is. But it's all very, very problematic as far as I am concerned. Let's continue. Are there are more clips? My mother said I lied. I made it all up just to get my baby daddy back. Mm. Mm. Guess what? I was in the studio bleeding out <laughs> when I was rushed to the hospital in Atlanta. And guess who flew to Atlanta? Because they said my pregnancy was ectopic. My mother and my grandmother, the same mother that said I lied about being pregnant with my son, by the way, flew to Atlanta and guess. So was the baby uh, ectopic? Was it ectopic pregnancy or was it a, she said a heart condition or a brain condition? Who referred me to the OBGYN that I went to go see when they released me from the ER, my aunt. I'm fucking tired. Everybody else, because I'm so reactive and I'm so emotional, it is easy to say she's the problem child. If I released these receipts, everybody would be devastated. I even said to my ex-husband, you are lucky that I love the hell out of my friend, your brother that passed away. Because if I if I didn't, and I dropped this encyclopedia of receipts. So many people would be hurt. And I am not in the business of hurting other people. I am not a mean spirited person. I am not an evil spirited person. I am not a bad person. I might be broken. I do not ever wake up. Who can I fuck with today? Who can I hurt today? My mother said I lied. I made it all up just to get my baby daddy back. This is not looking good for Monice. My ex-husband calls me. We stay on the phone for almost 12 hours. You then call the same woman you betrayed me with to say she talks so much. I muted my phone. But let's talk about you going to wake your younger daughter, Raya, up while I was on the phone. That's not a muted mic. Let's talk about your mother coming into your room and saying you're in the bed, she's in the bed. It's 2.30. Are you guys going to get up? And you mumble. And your mom says, ha ha, you guys are living the life. Come get me when you wake up. You call me this morning after my video from Saturday goes viral. I was asleep, so I didn't answer. Then you text the same woman that you betrayed me with, had a whole conversation with her. After agreeing to repair your and restore your marriage, acted like that's not what was going on. Acted like you fell asleep on the phone with me by default. Mind you, I fell asleep. You woke me up because you weren't on mute. You went to wake up your daughter. Then your phone rang. I asked you, is that her calling you? You said, yes. Come to find out today, she didn't even call you. So you just completely made that up. Morgan, Hardman. And instead of you calling me to ask me what was going on between me and my husband. So instead of saying the nigga's name, you gonna call out Morgan. Girl, I can't deal with Monice. I don't, I, listen, I don't wanna call nobody a liar because I don't know your life. But I'm very confused on why we don't know who the husband is. Is it a boy or a girl? Is it an ectopic pregnancy or you had to cancel the pregnancy because the baby was, you know, had a, a heart or a brain deep? Bitch, I don't know what's going on. I just know you on the internet acting a fool, crying and shit, making everybody feel bad for you, like gut-wrenching shit you telling us. You called the other woman. I'm the one who was cooking breakfast Saturday morning, listening to gospel music. When I caught the stray bullet, y'all came at me with this information. This was not something I know. I hadn't talked to my ex-husband since December. Don't call me and tell me, oh, you're better than that. And fuck you. Fuck you. This is why I do this. I can't trust a. Why are you still dealing with Morgan? Why are you still dealing with Morgan? Like everybody know, girl, listen, whatever. Single soul. But I know what I'm told. I know what I heard. I know what I feel. I know what I went through. I know what I've experienced. Well, I cussed somebody out whose cash app I have donated anonymously to. Hmm. Never said a word to her. Yet I see you in the comments saying, 
great acting skills. Did anyone check the last slide? I slide into your DMs. I don't even reply to you wow. publicly. I slide into your DMs. Your friend told us you were acting. And now you're apologizing. Saying I didn't realize your tears were real until you came into my DMs. <laughs> Fuck you. What Girl, what? So you mad because people don't believe you, but you all over the place telling us shit we ain't never know? You was online talking about all of these niggas arguing with people about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. And you could have been told us about what was going on with you. And you ain't never seen that a goddamn thing. And now you want to come online trying to holler at people. Girl, get, get Monice away from me. Get, get, Mo, get Monice away from me. I, I don't believe anything that the young lady is saying. I don't. Let's go ahead and move on to Tammy Rivera and her lookalike. Okay? Ciao. Waka Flocka's girlfriend, Melanie, shares some interesting posts to their Instagram story. No one can make me jealous over a seat I had first. You wouldn't be sitting there if I didn't get up. So this is where Tammy posted. The girl, Michelle, that's her name, girl, whatever, being washed up and can't let go of your past is type crazy. This is the one because it's giving jealous and bitter. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know what's going on, but I can't stand when you you young girls start fucking on some old dick and start calling the women who he used to be in relationships with washed up. Washed up. You do know at some point your ass is going to be her age. I may not always agree with everything Tammy say, but my girl, you still not killing Tammy. You still not killing Tammy. Don't call nobody washed up because you ain't killing nobody. Uh, I'm just saying in the looks department, in the looks department, you ain't killing nobody. You a clear lookalike to the woman that he been with cheating on that's been taking him back for over a decade. Girl. Girl. Tammy says her and Waka are still legally married until papers are signed. She just wanted the girl to know they still talk. Becoming a side chick to a man you had first is very embarrassing. How you assume she a side chick? Girl, what? That's a hop in the leap. Tammy got a man. Tammy has a man. <sighs> Tammy says, sweetie, we talk because our daughter because of our daughter. And to be honest, we still legally married, so we have to talk because we have business that has to be handled together until them papers are signed. Grown people business. Spelling everything wrong. It's okay. We know you was upset. We get it, girl. Waka's current boo and Tammy with some interesting posts. She said, man, I'm just waking up. It's 9 a.m. over where I'm at. Waka, we literally just talked about this. Last night, your morning. Waka, get her, please, for I hurt. This little girl feelings. Oh, by the way, that post wasn't even about him nor you, but hit dogs holler. You fucking up your seat. She in Tammy. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to give that one an applause. I'm just saying that was a read. That girl say, you better get a fire. <laughs> Big Rain's on. You better get a fire. You better get her. You better get her because bitch ain't nobody talking to you. Who you talking to? And when she said before I heard her little feelings, meaning that there was obviously some overlap or he hitting Tammy up, I still want you back. And Tammy like, uh -uh, I'm straight. I got a man. Ugh. But calling her she, she in Tammy, hilarious. It really, it should have been Timu Tammy. Just wanted a moment because Tammy was minding her. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm posing. No one can make me. This is, this is a, bitch, this is a repost. Everybody follow female focused. I follow female focused. I follow them. All she did was repost to her stories. I do it all the time. That don't mean it was about you, Timu Tammy. This comment right here really annoyed me. Tammy, first of all, your daughter is a grown woman now. And second of all, that ain't even his biological daughter. A lot of y'all are saying that they shouldn't be talking because that's not his biological daughter. And I really want y'all to grow the fuck up. 
I hate to say it like this, but it doesn't matter. Being somebody's biological child does not matter. It doesn't. If a person decides that they're going to be a parental figure, a parent to a child, that's all that matters. And he legally adopted Charlie. So it doesn't matter that she's not biologically his. She is legally his. She's also in college. So they still have to have conversations concerning her because they're both probably paying for shit for her. I really cannot stand when the community reinforces not caring about children simply because they are not biologically yours. As if this is not another black child in our black community where everybody should feel some form of responsibility in said community. That's how you know this is really not a fucking community because y'all really be out here online feeling like a person should not care for a child because it's not biologically theirs. I hate you motherfuckers. That's it. That's all I wanted to say about that. I don't think there have been any new developments since then concerning this situation. Um, I guess Waka got her. Okay. I guess Waka went and got her. Um, we'll hit Portia and Simon real quick, y'all. But we got to bring it all the way down. We got to bring it all the way down somewhere around. Let me see. Because, and we're going to talk about Married to Medicine tomorrow, y'all. But I thought that, I thought Simon had said something and Portia was like, you better stop before I start telling my truth or some shit like that. Let me see. First of all, Decision to divorce Simon Guabadia will not air on upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta because they aren't filming yet. So by the time we start filming, it will already have like it's already happening now, but we're not filming it as it's happening. Um, OK, so let me let me continue to glide back up to make sure that I have not missed anything. I'm flowing through. I'm flowing through. I'm flowing through. Oh, Y'all, these goddamn gnats. And it's because of the plant. I didn't even realize that apparently plants draw gnats. So I have to spray some more up here. Um, I'm just making sure I don't miss anything because they've been going back and forth for a while now. So, yeah, Simon has said things that don't grammatically make sense. So I don't know what he's trying to say. Um, but it seems as if he's already moved on from Portia, same car, and Simon liked her post. Um, so he must have a, a, a new girl or whatever. Um, <laughs> thank you, God. Okay, listen, we love when these niggas go and get them a new girl. They can move on quick. So apparently, uh, Portia was seen wearing her, her ring, but took it off and gave it to her sister to wear. I think that's what everybody was saying. Listen, I don't know, but I do know they've been threatening each other through the internet. I do know that. I do know, here it is. Portia, if you keep telling your lies, I will start speaking my truth. This is what she said. And I don't know who she talking to, but it's given she talking to Simon. So then I'm gonna redirect everybody. So when I told y'all, then people was faking and fronting. No relationship is perfect. Nobody's always happy. And you are not getting into a relationship with a man that changes women like he changes cars and think that your relationship is going to be so much different. It's just not. A lot of the times people stay together simply because they don't feel like moving on to the next person. They old, they tired. They didn't got used to a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? There are a whole bunch of reasons. These two people were never really going to stay together. And I don't know why anybody thought they were going to stay together. Simon responded, okay, well, let me get the response. But Portia said, if you keep telling your lies, I'm going to tell my truth. Her truth, girl. Not y'all getting ab etching. Girl. I hate that y'all make people famous so that y'all can make fun of them. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Um, Y'all, I broke my nail and I'm so annoyed. I need to put another, I need to put another, what you call them on it? Let me see. Mm, star brim. Sigh. So fine. 
Uh, I don't see his response. Oh, wait a minute. Deb want peace. <laughs> Why are we doing this on the internet? <laughs> Deb had to come and check some. Why are we doing this on the internet? Come on, Tammy. Let's keep it in the house. Okay. <laughs> I'll do anything for you if I love you. That's why I got to watch who I love. Oh, and she been posting this. Okay. Mm, we wonder what's going on over there. It do seem like don't be online arguing about no nigga if you don't know how the nigga, you know, really going to move. And you never know how a nigga really going to move. So do us all a favor. Don't be up here with that. I don't see Simon's response, y'all. All I see, all I see is a new bitch in a core, right? Because she's covering off on this post, right? She's covering off. Oh, y'all real big mad at Drea. Listen, he's of legal age. Um, Simon Gobadia already moved on from Porsche. And we seeing a girl, cars. Okay, okay. So I don't know, I don't know what else. I don't know what else I missed. Um I don't know. Let me see. Uh now you know Simon or whoever he's being today doesn't care about being married when he starts dating the new woman. He don't. Oh, he deleted it. Well, tell me what he said since he deleted it. What what post and delete? Child, listen. Let me let me see if I can find whatever the post and delete is. Okay, hold on. What's the other? Let's see the shade room. Cause y'all know I don't follow them. I gotta go look for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, okay, hold on, wait a minute. He said, can't wait, bitch. Well, this right here, <laughs> we seeing this right here. Girl, not a Porsche look alike. Because it's giving teeth and body. Teeth and body, new Porsche. Girl, it's definitely giving she and Porsche. It's definitely giving she and Porsche, girl. So I guess he must have posted and deleted. Y'all said the shade room had it. But all I saw was him leaving fire emojis. Hold up. Is this it? Post and delete. Ooh, looks like Porsche room is red. He said, can't wait. Oh, okay. Oh, he can't wait. Oh, I, I'm listen. We all can't wait. Popcorn, we all can't wait. Girl, when I tell you, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to find out what has really been happening in this relationship. And I think that was all a part of the plan. It was all a part of the plan to get us interested, to make us care by pretending to be perfect. And then out of nowhere, the relationship is just over. And now they hate each other. And we have no idea why. I mean, we knew he was scamming, but we also think you knew he was scamming. You know what I'm saying? So what is there? And then, you know, people saying he was very controlling. We told y'all how old niggas be. We told y'all and y'all was acting like y'all couldn't hear us because she wanted to be controlled. Right. Because all of the girls that get with these men for money and comfortability, they want to be controlled. Right, Alicia, from Married to Medicine. You want a man to do all of these, you know, unfair imbalance acts of dominance over you right y'all like that okay cool have fun have fun girl have fun until you can't have fun anymore like Portia and then make it a reality show storyline so we can all enjoy it with our popcorn with your ex <laughs> oh girl they did what Kim and Croy couldn't girl. let me tell y'all something I don't know why black people still speak on those people when I tell y'all I don't I would prefer never to see them Never to have to speak on them. Never to know if they exist. Like, I don't know those people. <laughs> I don't know those people, girl. But anyway, I'm done. It's been an hour 30. I think we had a good time. I hope y'all had a good time. I had a good time. I miss y'all. Um, anyway, I miss y'all. And, and I'll be back tomorrow for Married to Medicine. And um, I think I might do Love and Hip Hop Public this week. You know what I'm saying? Like every so often I just throw a public one out there just because it's like, girl, <laughs> I didn't make enough content. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go and band-aid my nail um, and wait on my food, okay? 
All right, y'all. Bye.